iOS emulators, a legitimate one that emulates the whole system. Hello buddy, it's me, Game Jacker. And today we're talking about iOS emulators for Windows PC, for Mac OS, for those of you who just want to play around with your favorite iOS apps on your computer, for those of you who just want to manipulate some stuff, maybe jailbreak your emulator and play around. Well, it's a very complex issue and there is a lot of misleading information out there on the internet. If you're on the internet, you're going to find a lot of top lists, the top iOS emulators for Windows, for Mac, for this, for that. Top emulators. And then if you read between the lines, you're going to see that they, they're not really emulators, they're simulators. Oh, a web-based iOS simulator. Interesting. Well, what does that mean? So, I'm just going to give you the TLDR. There is no actual iOS emulator such as we have for Android. Whereas uh, in the actual operating system is truly emulated and not just simulated. Simulation means you make something look like something else. Emulation means you're actually running the actual software. So what Android emulators do is they use the source code that is provided by Google of their Android operating system to create an emulator for PC that lets you run the actual Android operating system on PC actually the way it would run on your mobile device as well, which makes everything 100% interchangeable. An APK uh, an app you install on your emulator, you can also install on the actual Android device. It's exactly the same. All the same techniques are used. If you're trying to cheaterino in a game, if you root the device, jailbreak the device, it's all going to be exactly the same. However, for iOS, the source code, due to licensing issues, because um, Apple is very protective of their source code, for monetary reasons probably, it's just not accessible. So people cannot possibly create their own emulators for iOS. So all these lists, there are very technical testing apps for developers on iOS that let you run certain aspects of certain apps, but an actual emulator of the whole operating system does not exist and can only ever exist if Apple themselves release it or if for some reason the source code leaks into the public which is probably never going to happen and even then the emulator would get sued to oblivion because Apple themselves have decided to make the source code for their iOS operating system closed source so nobody's going to get their hand on it in any legal way and even if they did in some other way get their hands on it they wouldn't allow this thing to go on and they would sue the company that releases the ios emulator not simulator into oblivion all these apps that you're going to find they are simulators they're not emulators they just make things look like they are an ios app but it's not actually an iOS app whatsoever. It's just a web app or it's an Android app or it's something else. It's a, it's a plugin for a browser, but it's not an actual iOS app. It's all fake. It's all just advertised as an emulator, but it's not really that. So if you want to play around with actual mobile apps, um, you're going to have to use an Android emulator instead. I'm going to give you a link down in the description for the best Android emulators that can, by the way, be rooted in one simple click, which is amazing. Imagine we had an iOS emulator where you could just jailbreak the device uh, by checking a box. That's basically what this is. Um, so there is no actual iOS emulator, a legitimate one that, op that actually emulates the whole system, the whole iOS um, operating system. But there is an alternative, and that's, of course, Android. Now, a lot of you might not like to hear that, but that's simply the reality because of how these two companies have actually handled the licensing of their code and of their source code. And yeah, and there's upsides and downsides, of course, uh, to everything. And it's, it's, they have made the decisions that they have. And what's sad is that there is so many misleading articles out there and just apps that are advertised as emulators that aren't in any way emulators whatsoever. So please don't fall for these 
I'm not gonna call it scam. It's 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 more false advertising, really. Um, yeah. So it, an actual emulator does not exist. Um, you can't actually run iOS apps <laughs> on, on the on the on this uh, these kinds of software. Um, and yeah, and your best chance for actually playing around with uh, mobile apps on your PC or your Mac is going to be Android emulators, and that's very unlikely to change to ever change unless. Apple themselves creates an emulator for people to use, which is probably never gonna happen. So, yeah. So for of course this these emulators are extremely useful for, for example, cheaterinoing in certain games uh, and using certain apps for modifying data, and it lets you do a lot of very interesting stuff. I mean, if you look at my app list here you're gonna see you know that there is a lot of interesting things you can do when you can just simply install apps from an unknown source and give them admin access to your device it's you know the, the world's your oyster so I do recommend you play around with emulators I just can't um, in good co conscience tell you to test those uh, iOS emulators that are floating out there so please be careful don't get scammed by these um, so-called emulators, but not really emulators at all. And yeah, and that's basically that. So if you want to play around with iOS apps, um, you're, the only way is to actually run it on your actual iOS device. Sadly enough, there are ways to steer your iOS device from a Mac, but even those are pretty complicated and convoluted. So what I recommend, and it's not going to be a popular, uh, popular opinion, of course, is if you want to run mobile apps on your PC, use Android. There's simply no other way. Um, but you might like this aspect of Android, that it really allows you to do anything on PC, basically. And the emulator, the selection of emulators that Android has is exquisite. You can just pick and choose whichever one you want. And yeah, there's going to be a link down in the description. If you like the video, please like, comment down below for the algorithm, and subscribe for more gaming and tech content for mobile, iOS, Android, everything. I'll see you guys next time. Game Chakra!